Hey guys, Chrome 101 here, bringing you guys some info for your fish tank. Today, as you can see, I switched up my tank a lot. I've got more schooling fish and also a dwarf gourami. Where is that guy? He hides a lot. He's a little bit shy, but I'm hoping he'll move around more as he gets more used to the tank. But the reason is that I got rid of my old fish, my two blue gouramis and my Sharpe Tetras. The reason for the blue gouramis is because they w would get too big and they would soon maybe even eat my Tetras that I was planning to get. So I got rid of those and I also got rid of my Sharpe Tetras because they're actually the most aggressive fish of the Tetra breed. And they will swim around and chase the other fish and nip their fins so I just got rid of them. But you know, it was worth it because I got these cool neon tetras and they really make your tank look alive. Um, I don't really recommend them because they die very easily. So I would say go to PetSmart and get them cheap from there because then it's not that much of a loss. But if you get them from your local fish store, they'll be two bucks each and it'll add up after a while. But I got my rummy nose tetras from my local fish store and I'm really happy on how they turned out. They're pretty strong fish. I haven't had one die yet. And they're really cool looking. They're something you don't really see often in a guy's fish tank. So um, I do recommend the rummy nose tetras because they're, people don't really see them often and people get a wow out of them. But um, yep, it's a nice schooling fish. They school together which I think is really, really cool because it just makes a tank look so much bigger. And uh, there's my dwarf Grammy. He's really colorful. He's way better looking than the blue Grammy. I recommend him also because he gets up to three inches and he's a nice fish. He's not mean like the blue Grammys were. They, they're not very that territorial. But oh, there's my zebra loach. And my zebra loach I enjoy a lot because he's such a colorful fish. He has a nice pattern on him. And he, uh, he's, he's pretty cool. People always like, like him. But this is like his house. He's always hiding in there. But when I first got him, it was kind of maddening because he would always hide in there. I felt like it was a waste of money. And I was also scared that he would die because I didn't really know what he would eat. Because I bought a bunch of food. I bought, like, sinking wafers and algae wafers. And he wasn't eating them all. So then I just started to put extra extra fish food on the bottom and then he started to eat that so I was a little bit more happy and less scared and then it took about a month for him to get used to the tank because he's a shy fish he's comes out mainly after dark he's nocturnal but you're just gonna need to get used to it he's coming out way more often so you just need to wait be patient with him and uh, the only fish that stayed here the whole time that I've had my tank is my bala shark um, I just think he's a nice looking fish. He's he's good with the other fish. He's good community tank fish, but he gets pretty big. That's the only down, but um, I'll switch him out if it comes to that. But my zebra lutch is always swimming around. I always enjoy to see him swim around, but a lot of people enjoy my schooling fish also. Um, and I got some live plants, like my last video. Um, they're starting to brown. I'm getting a little scared because maybe my lights aren't as good so I'm planning probably to get a glass top and a good light on the top because as you can see I just have like the light that it came with it's a marine marine land excuse me LED light um it has the night feature also and uh but I don't think it grows plants too well and I also have a marine land penguin bio wheel filter I don't know if you can see that yeah there but I like the filter, that's the main reason why I got it. But um, I recommend the tank, it was a good price, it was only 100 bucks with the LED light and all the fancy stuff that came with it. Came with that, the filter and the light and the good top. Because usually um, your tank doesn't come with too much if you get a starter kit, it's pretty cheap stuff. But this one came with a lot of good stuff. But I really enjoy my fish, my schooling fish. So I have five Rummy Nose Tetras and seven Neon Tetras. Um, my Rolling Nose Tetras are just really cool. I enjoy them. They they got a little bit expensive. They're four dollars each from my local pet store, but um, they're worth it. Um, they really add a new new type of feeling to the tank. Um, but yeah, there's my tank, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like and subscribe. Um, it really shows me that you guys are enjoying my videos and it 
shows that activity is going on. Um, thanks for watching. See you guys next week.